Hey everybody, Nick from TriRig here. Just a quick video today. This year's men's world championship race in Kona, Hawaii was something of an eye-opener for me. I think that race, more than anything else, really helped crystallize a few trends in my mind. Specifically, I'm seeing lots of double BTA bottles, longer reach positions, and a wide array of super extension solutions being used by pros and amateurs alike. And of course, being me, I have an opinion about these things. I think that in general, the trends really do make sense, and they're pushing the sport forward. I mean, it's difficult to argue with the race times, which have just been falling precipitously over the past 10 years, concomitant with the rise of exactly these trends. But, as with any technical subtlety of the sport, the devil is in the details. Whether adding a double bottle or increasing reach will work for a particular athlete is a case-by-case -case question, and exactly how to achieve those ends is both an ergonomic and technical challenge that has to be approached in the right way, or you might do more harm than good. But what I really want to focus on today is the idea of the super extension. Specifically, the question of whether it's better to have a single sealed mono extension, as with race winner Patrick Lange and bike course record setter Patrick Laidlow's bikes, or to use a dual super extension, as we can see with athletes like Cam Wirth or Leon Chevalier. I think it's tempting to look at mono extensions and think that they might be universally better, at least from an aerodynamic perspective. If your goal is to punch through the wind without collecting that wind under your torso, maybe it's better to seal off that area completely. After all, having two separate cups potentially leaves an opening between them. But aerodynamics don't always behave exactly as we might predict. Depending on the rider, the position, and the equipment, dual extensions can actually be faster in some cases. We've seen anecdotal evidence of riders who tested taping the front of their extensions closed to mimic a mono extension and actually found that to be slower. I've heard speculation that a mono extension will only succeed if it has a proper aerodynamic skin shape similar to the hull of a ship. And of course, if you're going to bother to make a custom mono extension, it makes sense to try and put some kind of shaping into it. But Canyon Solution, ridden by guys like Langa, Laidlow, Lionel Sanders, it's completely flat up front. And those guys have definitely done the testing to confirm that those extensions work for them. The other piece I really bristle at with mono extensions and most super extensions generally is their lack of adjustability. Position changes have the potential to be 10 times more important than even the most radical of equipment upgrades, but most super extensions are completely fixed in every way with no ability to change your position over time. That means if you've just invested $3,000 in a new set of custom gear just for you, you're basically saying that you never intend to adjust ever again. And for me, that's a trade I'm never willing to make. Moreover, if your arms are sufficiently narrow and or your bottle setup sufficiently fills the space between your arms, it may have the same effect as a mono extension without needing to seal off the area. We think it's better to be able to experiment than to be locked into a single setup forever. That's why our approach at TriRig has always been to design parts that let you adjust. Our super extension is called Scoops Ultimate SL, and it maintains the benefit of adjustment in every dimension, stack, reach, roll, extension shape, and angle, all while offering complete forearm support and offering a large aerodynamic skin shape. We've seen athletes gain 12 watts just by swapping from their standard extension setup to Scoops Ultimate SL, and they didn't have to give up adjustability to do so. Oh, and Scoops Ultimate SL is probably the best value in super extensions, coming in at a fraction of the cost of some of the alternatives. But I still think this is an area ripe for innovation. And at TriRig, we're constantly trying to find new ways to help athletes improve and achieve their goals. So watch this space as we head into 2025. We have a lot of ideas in store that we can't wait to share with you. We just launched our multi-bottle BTA rail, which makes it easy to put bottles wherever you want them up front and seal off that area. We have a lot of other ideas in store that we can't wait to share with you. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.